Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So I wanted to try some tattoos. First I got a collarbone tattoo, right? Then I got another name put on top of that collarbone tattoo. And then after that, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to try a thigh piece and a thigh piece was really stinking cute. So I put another piece on top of that one, right? And then after that, I wanted to try something all on my wrist. And I got a butterfly put there and then I went back because I got bored and I got another collarbone tattoo. Well, right underneath it. As you can see, this collarbone tattoo and the first one are completely different because these tattoos are semi-permanent. They're not temporary, they don't come off easily, trust. So as much as I love my custom tattoos, normally I keep my sources to myself, but I wanted to share with you guys. So we're gonna talk about body art. Not body by low, got your girl looking right. Okay, meanwhile. You have to keep these hydrated so the ink won't crack or start to look old early and you can completely shower with them. Ocean water just might do the tattoos harm but chlorine you just might be okay. And if you exfoliate it's going to take them off faster. The inspiration for wanting to try tattoos came from this genius right here. One of the two best dancers in the world. The one with the big B on his chest. The bow legged one right there. He's got the most beautiful tattoos and works of art all over his skin and a lot of them have a bunch of beautiful stories behind them. The one that caught my eye behind, besides those skulls because I want to get into that later are these angel wings right there on his forearm. I really 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 want to try those but I have a thing about needles and I have a thing about tattoos because they're like permanent permanent so I'm like I want to have my cake and eat it too. So I also fell in love with this new logo. So I got the custom earrings for those and I also wanted the matching custom tattoo. So I found this spot online called Inkbox and they have already pre-made tattoos from all different styles, from different tattoo artists, from all over the world really. So they have tattoos that are pre-made that you can just grab and buy and apply and use at your leisure. Like this butterfly, absolutely gorgeous. Like I want it, I got it. Just like that. And it's so beautiful. But I'm into customs. I love custom teams. That's that's my jam. If you want something that's really easy, you want to go to the custom tab, then go to the custom box, pick your size, and anything that can be converted to grayscale or something simple like a name, you can get that made for you and sent out to you right away. I'm still wearing mine. It's been about a week. But if you want something that goes into more detail, oh my goodness, girl, this is a story right here. So what had happened was I had taken this quiz and I think it was my experience with them that got them to change the tattoo quiz because this is brand new. When I first got it, they matched me up with that guy right there with the bird. And for the tattoo that I wanted, I wanted the angel wing tattoo. And it's not that this artist can't draw, it's just a different style of drawing and that's not what I wanted I wanted I think it's called realism is a style of tattoo that I wanted I guess so this is brand new and I am glad that they have it so now that they can pair people up with the right style because I had went through the proper channels that was guided from the website and I showed the tattoo artist that angel wing tattoo and I'm like yo I want that this is the only picture I have. Can you please make it possible? And he's like, yeah, sure. And oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm, uh, huh. I'm like, okay, but can you make these changes? Because this isn't exactly what I had in mind. Like, remember, it looks like that. And then he, he, <laughs> he sent me back this. And I'm like, oh, this ain't working out, right? So I still wanted my tattoo even though they gave me a refund. So I went looking around on the Inkbox website and I found a tattoo artist that had a similar style of what I was looking for. And I scrolled his profile on Inkbox and I'm like, okay, he should be able to do exactly what I'm looking for. So every artist has their Instagram page linked to their Inkbox page so you can communicate with them, right? So I found him on Instagram. I tracked this man down. I'm like, yo, this is what had happened. And I really, really want this specific tattoo. I only have a limited amount of photos. Can you please draw this for me? And I'm like, that's what it looks like. Can you do it? 
he understood the assignment. Oh my gosh, he slayed that first go round. So then I just wanted a few minor changes because I was so excited and he made the minor changes. The minor changes was the scar that baby has. It's a touching story behind that scar. And I wanted it and I got it. And he drew my scar within it because on the Inkbox website, you need to have something that converts to grayscale. So if you can get a photo, like how I have that logo, that's on my earrings, and now I have it on a tattoo as well, you can get it made. So, I got my earrings, I got my tattoo, and this is how you apply it. It's a lot of hurry up and wait with these tattoos. If you shave your legs, you have to wait 24 hours before applying, that's just their rules. And then you wanna use the primer wipes to cleanse the area. I have a birth, I have a lot of birthmarks, but I use a birthmark on my inner thigh as a way, like a marker, so I can get the tattoo exactly where I want it each time that I wore it, way before I filmed this video. And I just lined it up with the birthmark on my inner thigh. And then you wanna make sure that you smooth out any air bubbles. After the tattoo is secured, you wanna remove that border strip. And this is the waiting part. Because I have these tattoos placed right on top of each other, but I had to um, wait the processing time which is one hour and during that time it is important that you don't sweat <laughs> you want to keep your movement to a minimum because the ink is going to transfer from the strip to your skin and the application strips are very delicate it's a one-time only thing so if you're moving about and they touch you're basically SOL and you're gonna have to get another one so what I had to do for the first one, for the logo and for the butterfly, is I sat still for an hour and I had a fan going on me just so that I can keep cool because the ink can and will run if you get hot and it just does that. So once you remove the strip, the ink is going to be a light blue, light green color until about 36 hours. It's just going to keep getting darker until it turns like black. You're going to want to wear something long sleeves or long pants because you don't want the ink to transfer as it's getting darker. Now, my ink smudge. My ink smudge because I got hot. Like, the first go around, I was watching cartoons as the ink developed, right? Second go around, when I was filming this video, I was watching Baby Dance. I was watching this hot French guy get me busy on the dance floor. And body got hot and the ink smudged and now it's gonna be like that for at least another week the best advice I could give you is number one don't hydrate your skin too much right before you apply your tattoo and number two stay as cool as possible so you don't end up with a big blob and number three is keep your ink hydrated so that it doesn't crack and look blah but see how I covered up that smudge with those overall <laughs> Like, this was supposed to be cute. I didn't have enough patience to wait another three weeks to try this again. So, that's what you get. Y'all, like this video, comment, subscribe, and share with all your friends. If you have any questions, I will be answering questions in the comments. I will see y'all next time.